Okay, the car is done preconditioning. That took about five minutes to bring the cabin up to temperature and warm up the battery. It is minus 28 Celsius outside right now. I'm gonna do a 48 kilometer drive at about 100 kilometers an hour average speed. Uh, park outside for about an hour and then drive back. Uh, in the summer, this trip usually takes me about 18%. Uh, a couple of weeks ago when it was plus four degrees, I used about 20%. So today at around minus 30, I'm expecting about double that. We'll see, um, probably around 40%. All right, let's go. All right, the car says it's minus 29 outside now. Uh, let's see, our efficiency so far, we're averaging 212 watt hours of plumber. That's actually not bad. We might not use as much as I thought here. I'm going to readjust my estimate to 35% usage. Okay, approaching my destination here. Uh, yeah, okay, we've used 14% so far. All right, I'll be back in an hour and we'll see. We're at 67% right now. Okay, that was closer to two hours actually. And I did not preheat the car uh, before I got in. So we lost 2% just sitting here. Uh, it's minus 29. Oh, the battery's okay. It's not warming the battery so that held its temperature, I guess. There, okay, we made it back with 44, and it's minus 31 up here, it's colder. <laughs> um, let's see, the average consumption was 268 watt hours a kilometer. Okay, let's compare today's trip to two identical trips that I did last month. Uh, one at five degrees, my consumption was 154 watt hours a kilometer, and the other at four degrees with 156 watt hours a kilometer. Let's use that one and use it as a reference point to compare to today's trip. So at four degrees at approximately an average speed of 105 kilometers an hour, or 65 miles per hour, the average consumption was 156 watt hours a kilometer, which on a 75 kilowatt hour battery would give you 481 kilometers or 299 miles of range. And if we compare the range loss while driving, right, because this consumption rate is only factoring in the energy used while driving, the range loss from 4 degrees to minus 29 degrees is 42%, which would give you 280 kilometers of range, or 174 miles. Now, if we look at it in a different way and include the 2% charge I lost while parked, then the total range loss for the whole trip is 46%. So there you have it. Uh, is there anything more to say about that? Uh, I guess not. The important thing to do in winter is to try and pull as much energy from the wall as you can before you start your trip. Get the cabin preheated and get the battery warming up.